The strike continues tonight after negotiations between sanitation workers and Republic Services closed the day without a decision. Workers say the strike will go around the clock and likely through the Christmas holiday. News 8's LaMonica Peters is in Chula Vista finding out people living there are starting to feel the effects. One of the residents here at Harvest Ridge Apartments says this bin was just empty yesterday, and as you can see, it's already overflowing again. She says dozens of people use these trash bins every day, and with no end in sight to the strike, she's worried about people's health and safety. It just smells. The complex smells, and that's not right. Some residents at the Harvest Ridge apartment complex in Shula Vista say they're frustrated by the delay in their trash pickup due to the strike with Republic Services. Well, we already have a rat problem here, and now with the trash being overflowing, we have restaurants all along the bottom of this complex, so you can imagine all that food. It smells. We're having more rats, and it's a mess. Sanitation workers have officially been on strike since Friday. Strikers say they know people are being inconvenienced and the trash is piling up, but they deserve to be paid as much as other drivers in the area and to have safer working conditions. Ladera Hampton says he's been with Republic Services for 16 years. Two surgeries since I've been here, uh, one on my shoulder and one on my knee. Uh, I've inhaled uh, some type of mold fungus out on the route. I had to be in the hospital for eight days. Um, so this job is not easy. It's not easy. Workers also say some of the equipment they use is too old and some of the trucks they drive leak oil and shouldn't be on the street. Union officials say over 100 drivers each service 12 to 13 customers a day in Chula Vista and they don't stop until the route is complete. As negotiations continue, Hampton says they just want Republic to be fair and to show appreciation for the work they do. We love serving uh, Chula Vista. A lot of these guys live here in Chula Vista, like me, and uh, you know, the customers, they love what we do. Chula Vista City Council member Steve Padilla also released a statement saying that these sanitation workers are essential workers. He says he supports their demand for change and he hopes that an agreement with Republic can be made as soon as possible.